All right, this is the 2020 preview for Penn State football, and uh, this is what I've been doing for a lot of teams. You can check out my other podcasts um, if you want, and I'm going to be going through a lot of Big Ten teams. Um, this is more of a brief preview, being that, A, it's very very early in the you know football season, spring football is right, right around the corner, though. And I think a lot more information will be starting to come to us as the season progresses and gets closer to that first game. Now, Penn State will be definitely a popular pick in the top 15, if not top 10. Um, this is going to be a test for them to try to get over the hump and, you know, take on a team like Ohio State, who is going to be always a team in that division that's extremely tough. Obviously, Penn State fans know more than anyone how difficult their end of the conference is. I think it's very um, top-heavy to one side, obviously, with Ohio State, Penn State, Michigan, and Michigan State all being on one side, and only Wisconsin being on the other. So definitely always have an extremely difficult schedule there, but if you can do well, then you're more than likely to be in the college football playoff conversation. They definitely were last year. Now, uh, going into the first game of the year, they play Kent State, who did just come off um, their first bowl game victory, but this will be a very tough game, especially on the road for Kent State, so I definitely see uh, Penn State pulling off their win here. And uh, one other thing to touch on, I think, is a lot of the offense for Penn State is coming back, and their defense will lose some talent for sure, but I do think with so much of the offense coming back with the quarterback, running backs, and some other line, I really like their opportunity to be a pretty tremendous team this year. So, going back to the schedule, uh, Ken State to start, and I think that will be a win for them. The next game on the schedule, a little bit tougher, especially for an out-of-conference game, definitely their most difficult out-of-conference game, will be at Virginia Tech. This game is on the road. Virginia Tech was pretty good last year. The ACC was tremendously down overall as a whole, but I think they'll be, you know, a, a favorite in terms of, you know, one of those teams that could potentially play Clemson in the ACC championship again. So this will definitely be a test for them, but I do like their odds here. I'm not sure what the spread would be on this game, but one of the more competitive games, especially in, in the Attic Conference. Next, they play San Jose State at home. This is a game, I think, very tough for a San Jose State team to come in here, so I feel like they would win that one as well. Next, on September 26th, they play Northwestern. Northwestern usually is a very competitive and good team, and hopefully they can you know, upgrade from their pretty disastrous season a year ago, but I definitely feel like this is another win, so I feel pretty confident that going into October 3rd, going to Michigan, that they will be 4-0. Now, this is going to be a big game for both programs. Uh, this is a game on both schedules that neither team can really afford to lose. Uh, obviously, with Ohio State you know, coming up later in the year for both teams, um, if you want any chance to make it to that next step, you cannot lose this game. Now, the one thing I will say is this doesn't bode greatly for Penn State, being that this is in Michigan, and even though Michigan's going to have a you know, somewhat new quarterback, even though they seem to play quite a fit, few quarterbacks here and there, I do think that there is a little bit of a co coaching advantage here for Penn State on, on the side until Jim Harbaugh can prove me wrong. But, I, you know, this was a great game last year, um, you know, in Penn State, but this one's going to be at Michigan. I'm not ready to really make any contradiction on this game yet because there's just so much before this game that, that could happen to this point with injuries and whatnot, but definitely one of their harder non-in-conference I mean, games. And uh, next week they play, they, next week they have a bye before they play Iowa at home. Now this is a game that they might overlook a little bit because they do have Ohio State coming into town the week after. So this is not a Iowa team that you want to overlook too much because they can, you know, Unfortunately, if you lose that game, even if you beat Michigan, it doesn't look great, and that will not look good. So hopefully Penn State and James Franklin will have his team ready, but 
this is a game, I would say, if you look at the whole schedule, they could overlook that game knowing they have Ohio State next week and how big that game could be. So obviously, that will lead me into the Ohio State game. Obviously, Justin Fields will be coming back. This team is loaded, even though they're losing a ton of first-round draft picks. Uh, most likely, Ohio State will be the overwhelming favorite to win the Big Ten and to go to the college football playoff again, bearing injury. This team is loaded. This team is talented. Uh, Justin Fields will have one more year under his belt. This game was extremely competitive last year at Ohio State, especially, I think it was around like the third quarter, they came roaring back and Penn State almost won. So the fact that this game's at home, that's why the Michigan game is so important. Because if they can beat Michigan, this game will set them up greatly to make a run at the college football playoff. If you don't beat Ohio State, it's going to be very difficult for you to make the college football playoff. So this is a great opportunity for them, especially being at home. Next couple of games here uh, I think are very winnable. Indiana. Indiana is improving and doing very well in the recruiting ranks. Overall, it's a staff, coaching, and a team. They've been you know, one of their best seasons in a long time. But this game, I, I don't see Penn State losing unless they're very banged up and injured at this point. Next game is a pretty big, you know, not sure how this team's going to be at Nebraska. Um, Scott Frost will have a lot riding on his schedule to this point. Uh, you know, overall, as a staff and as a program, since he's come on board, they have not made a bowl game. And you could say they have lost teams both, both years that Cornhusker fans are not happy at all about them losing to. Especially last year, it just seemed like whenever they were start starting to kind of come back and, okay, no, Nebraska's going to do pretty well here. They would just lose to a team that would just kind of make your scratch your head. And even that Minnesota game, Minnesota was tremendous last year. They just got absolutely run off the field. So um, not in the Nebraska of old and not what you would expect of, them, of a Nebraska team. But uh, this game is in Lincoln. Uh, that stadium will be full no matter if you know, they haven't won a game all year or if they're undefeated. Uh, Nebraska fans are one of the best, and uh, at this point of the season, c could be a difficult game, especially it, it always is when, when you go on the road and play at Nebraska. They are returning their quarterback, but then again, uh, you know, it, Scott Frost has a lot to prove this year, and this is going to be one of those games he's going to try to have to prove that. And uh, this is a third year with your team. You've, you know, they had a very good recruiting class last year, so this is going to be an interesting game. But I do see them winning this one unless Nebraska can prove, prove otherwise. Next game is Michigan State. Another interesting game with a brand new head coach for Mel Tucker. Um, people know how I feel about him uh, if you listen to other podcasts. Um, but I would say overall, I don't think this team will be ready. I think they're going to have an extremely tough year in Michigan State to have a, a couple of good recruiting classes and how you know, Mark D'Antonio has kind of left that team to Mel Tucker. It's going to take a while for him to get to that next step. So being this game at home, I feel very confident that Penn State will do very well in this game and win this one as well. Uh, Maryland did not have a very good season. Started out tremendous. I think they were ranked at one point, and they just fell off a cliff. So uh, interesting to see how Maryland does. This game will be the senior day for Penn State and see them being a pretty heavy favorite here as well. Rutgers has a brand new head coach. Um, think he can do pretty well, but still very early in his tenure. This game is away, but see this spread being anywhere from 10 to 20 points. So have very, you know, good faith that Penn State can win this game. So obviously the tough games, like I mentioned before, Ohio State, at Michigan, at Virginia Tech, um, that Virginia Tech game is going to be interesting at the beginning of the year. I think they do win that game, but it's not going to be a walk, you know, walk in the park just because it, it is at Virginia Tech, and they have been improving every year. So if I had to put a over under on how many wins that I would guess at this point, I would most likely guess that the number would be one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Um, I would guess nine and a half to ten. 
And it could be higher than that. It could be, um, but most likely I would say nine and a half to 10. And I would probably bet the over in that regard, just based on looking at the schedule. Um, it's not easy. Um, you know, like I said before, they're they're in a very difficult and tough conference. It's going to be one of those things that they're going to have to play well and do very well to have success. But they have all the potential in the world to go to the you know the college football playoff, and that's something that Penn State fans are going to be excited for. They want to get to a Big Ten championship. They want to you know compete for a national championship again. And obviously, you know who the the team in Ohio State is is going to be the favorite until you prove that wrong. But um, they, they, they were competitive with them last year. They, they, they feel like they should have won that game. And being this game is going to be at home this year, they have all the potential to do that. So uh, check out some other podcasts.